Hey guys, how are you doing? Happy New Year. This will be the first video I've shot in 2023. We actually just got back home. We went down to Windsor for vacation and to visit uh, family through Christmas. And in that time, we got dumped on with crazy amount of snow. I got my snowmobile stuck uh, probably up to my armpits in snow. And all the while, the semi-permanent camp has sat there. And I have no idea whether it's standing or not. We got a ton of heavy snow and then a ton of light snow and then it melted and then rained. So we're going to go check it out today. If it's still standing, we're going to take it down and call it good because it's been up for over a month. If it's ripped, we're going to still get it out of there. So we have to go check on it today. I tried to check on it before we left, before Christmas, and I got my snowmobile stuck in the guy's yard before we got even into the bush proper. So I went back there yesterday and snowshoed, and it's okay. I can probably get the snowmobile in there now with the amount of snow that's gone, but I didn't go as far back as I need to. We're gonna take the snowmobile and hope we don't get stuck. There's more snow supposed to come and I gotta take advantage of the somewhat warm weather while we have it. Here's here. What do you think, bud? We like winter. All right, we just pulled up here. Um, <clears throat> you wait here a minute, bud. So let me show you the scoop. Yeah. Okay. This whole tree was under snow, and you can see. Yeah, this is my old track here, and I got buried. Uh, I got this far, and I got stuck again right here and it was very, very difficult to get out. I actually had to get, because um, I rode the snowmobile here, I had to get Will to bring my truck here and pull me out with the truck. We actually got caught on this, this tree, but these, um, like this didn't even look like a car. Those were all buried and this was buried. So the, the snow was down, like considerably down. But that said, I don't want to get stuck out there. So I'm going to go walk. I'm going to snowshoe. I'm going to bring my snowshoes with me on the snowmobile regardless. But I'm going to snowshoe down there and set up my camera and blow past it. Because I don't want to set it here and then start going and then stop to have to get my camera again. Because stopping is uh, what I've come to learn not your friend when it's in a dicey situation in the snow. I think we might be okay. So we can certainly just snowshoe back there, but there's so much gear and it's pretty far. And I have these machines, you know, and I'm old. But, uh, you know, still almost up to my knees here. All right, hopefully you're gonna see me whizzing past here in about two minutes. Hold your horses. I'll speed it up for you. Okay, I 
think we're going to be okay. Uh, I'm telling you, the snow was not like this a week or so ago. Uh. Check it out. We had steak the other night. We had leftovers. So we freeze dried it. This is actual like ribeye. Hold on. Look, it goes to shredded, uh, it's like those liver treats that you can buy for the dogs. Whew. Oh, buddy. All right. Now that we're pretty confident about the snow and not getting stuck, uh, I'm going to head down to the end, try to turn around real quick and make a spot to turn around, do a couple laps. That way I'm confident. Uh, on not getting snow stuck in the snow. And then we'll go check on the semi-permanent camp and un semi-permanent it. Un Kaiser permanent it. <laughs> Okay, all is well, and I took a really quick sneak peek at the tent. I think it's standing, man. I don't know if there's rips or anything, but she looks like she's standing. Let's go run down, check her out. Uh, moment of truth here. Right. Remember how much snow there was last time? Not this. <laughs> That's the tent. She looks golden. Now I'm sure there's some sag and maybe even a rip or two. Oh, okay. That was tied off to it, so we'll have to see what happened there. If it ripped out or just stretched. But look at that. I'm taller than it now. Oh my goodness. Poor tent. Neglect. Neglect. All neglect all the time. Oh my goodness. Well, what do you say, folks? Start at it or what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's the heaviest. Like, the heaviest. Poor tent. Nor tent. Poor tent. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take a minute. Oh yeah, she's taut as a drum skin. Look at it, the fire pit's completely gone. Wolfie's half under the snow, digging it out. <laughs> Huge snowfall. Multiple snowfalls. We would, oh my God. Oh, and it didn't rip, I don't think. Huh, it didn't rip. Oh my goodness, no tent. Not your tent. No tent. Holy smoke. Oh my goodness. This is intense. I gotta get my shovel. This is wild. What a testament. I guess now is as good a time as any to tell you guys that we're giving 10% off all Nortent products on Robinette Outfitters. So if you're looking to get yourself a bomb proof tent, look no further. Well, the shovel weighs three times as much. As much as I would have liked to get out here before Christmas and clear this all off, I would not have this story about how surprised I am that this is still standing with no rips, which is pretty crazy. I told, I probably told you guys, Nortent even emailed me and was like, Joe, you can't really leave that out there without uh, keeping tabs on it. Old Joe. Yeah, it's, the snow's deep, man. Quite deep. Ah. 
holy smokes. But it's time to move on to something else, right? Like I did this for like a month, two months, whatever. However many videos, five months out of it, or five, sorry, five videos out of it. Um, I'm sure you guys are probably getting a little tired of that. So we will continue on to something else. It was a cool little experiment. Look at this, cool little test. And I had a lot of fun out here. And it was somewhere where Wolfie and I could go and I wasn't worried about him running around. And we had a nice spot here. And I can still make a camp here. I just gotta get this tent out of here. I, I like it, I don't want it to get ruined. I don't want to push my luck. Look at this. Guys, I'm digging her out. This is big time. Good boy. Oh yeah. Wow, the tent's all the way up. I'm standing on the tent right now, actually. It's on the ground quite a bit. Pretty hot. Pretty, pretty warm. Look at this. All snow, all the time, everywhere, right? <laughs> he dug down to his bone that was under the snow. That's pretty awesome. Careful with this shoulder on the tent too. Oh man, so much snow, bud. Well, let's try and get inside. <sighs> Dry inside, no snow at all. Okay. Oh, look at that. A bunch of firewood. Oh, look how much it shrunk with all the snow on it. Oh my goodness, guys. So one person now. She's right tight against here. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wolfie's uh, blanket is completely covered. Okay, it's time to get this out of here for sure. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Look how much snow there is, like the level. There's probably like two feet difference and I swear to God, this half of this melted. There's so much snow. It does not do it justice at all. Yeah, this is a good camp. This was a good camp. Time and tear down. Oh yeah, nice. I brought the duffel bag early on. Oh, look at that, all my stuff's here. All my stuff's here. <laughs> <clears throat> what are you doing? You're stepping inside my backpack. Oh, all right. Thanks for that. Oh boy. 
we ought to have this cot to deal with. Well, you found another bone, did you? Look at that. So much snow. So much snow. Yeah, like this freaking back wall, man. Wolfie's blanket's actually stuck. Holy crap! There we go. Oh, that's a lot of snow. Holy smokes. Sure is. got to come out and it's a bit on the toit side, toit like a toiga. There we go. I'm going to have to make two trips I think. Back to the truck. Oh boy. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. Maybe we do that part at home, eh? <laughs> Maybe we leave that attached for now. Yeah, there's no getting that out. So I just want to make sure there's nothing under here actually that I need or want or don't want. Parts of the forest. I think that's fine. Okay, we'll just leave that attached because this is all, oh, as you can see, soaked inside. We're gonna have to do a good drying job at home in front of the fireplace. So I'm gonna go run a load back up to the truck there and uh, I'm sure Wolfie will follow me, but we'll leave you guys here just so I don't have to mess around with the camera too much. She'll return. How, well, it'd be cool to see the footprint of this after uh, against the stark whiteness of the snow. Speaking of which, I got my freaking glasses on. It's bright. Okay, we'll return. Come with me, do you, Wolf? Hey, you don't even care, eh, buddy? Oh boy. So I did put a lot of effort and time into this area. I will come back and build a, uh, like a fort or a camp here or something like that. I just, again, really do need to get this taken down before it gets ruined. I don't want, I like it, I don't want it to be ruined. So that's what we'll do. That's on there. pad thing worked out pretty well as well just to keep it kind of neat and organized in there tidy as it were we really should be able to just pop this off there we go i got a big wire brush at home that i'll use to scour the inside from all the creosote so there we go it's really actually not too bad lots of hot fires yeah, not too bad. Wolfie! Oh, there you are, good boy. Oh, there's some, there's some in this part. But again, I've seen it way worse and for much shorter of a time frame. Hey, you good boy. Okay, so in here, this is a spark arrestor. You can really see where it, it built up in there, but that's the whole point of this thing, right? Okay, so that's that. Maybe we'll try to get the tent down. Put this over in the, uh, I'll go grab the sled and put this in the sled for now. 
do want to get together with Doug for a camp pretty soon. We've been chatting on the phone. Just want wait until the holidays are done. I think we're going to do a hot tent thing. So that's kind of cool. I haven't camped with Doug in, I don't know, man, a year or so. Can't remember when. Again. I still got to uh, clean the stove out, but I'm anxious to get the tent down. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is take one pole down. Oh, wow. I still have a ground sheet in here. Yeah. <laughs> Gift that keeps on giving. All right, I'm gonna take one of these poles down and see how she goes. Or not. So I thought I would just be able to push this silver button and have it come down. Oh, the pole cracked. Okay, okay. Well, that's not the worst thing in the world. Check it out, the carbon fiber pole, and I do have aluminum poles at home still. The carbon fiber pole cracked, so much weight on it pushing down. Okay, fair enough, fair play. Fair play to the snow. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Holy smokes, man. I can't get it off. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we're gonna figure out something else. If we have to do it the Joe way, we certainly will. The pole's already broken, but uh, I prefer to get it down properly. That's it. She's in the ground. There we go. Oh my goodness. And this one's fine. This pole. Okay. Wow. <laughs> TT turn me. All right. This should not be so difficult now. I still have to find all my tent pegs. I'm quite buried. Try and, un and try and actually uh, get them out of the frozen ground, too. It's a poor tent. It's Joe proof, though, I'll tell you that much. All right. <laughs> it goes for quite some time onto the ground. It got so sagged out. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness, guys. Holy smokes, where is the tent? Where does it end? Oh my God. <laughs> where are you? Oh my goodness. Okay, where's the end? There's the end. There is the stake. Oh yes, got it out. Okay, look at that, great success. <laughs> I am happy about that. That was be much harder to pull it out of the ground. Okay, one down, like 45 to go. Sweet. There's another, I found another. This is craziness. <laughs> oh, got it. Okay, two, two tent pegs. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm breathing heavy. She's a warm one. Mr. Grand 
bench. No way. Not yet. Oh, I fell. I don't know, man. I do not know. I guess there's not much to know. Oh, God. What is holding you on still? Ah! The pole is down. The pole is down. I repeat, the pole is down. <laughs> it's just comical at this point, right? Yes! Yes! Oh boy! Almost. some pressure man it indented indented the top of that cap there and like I said cracked the bottom but that's okay oh boy that was a lot of work believe it or not Well, that's all she wrote, guys. I'm gonna leave the old flag out here because I will come back, I promise. Oh, look at that. That's the first time I saw it flying properly. Oh, come. Yeah, so anyways, you can see here the depth of the snow. And again, like I said, we lost tons. can see most of the uh, the footprint that we had here like obviously some snow has caved in but like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven about eleven of my feet pass this way and five six seven eight eight or nine this way comfortably sleep a couple people Toshin is uh well uh Cooper never ended up getting out here again. It was Christmas time, lots of stuff going on, but I just can't leave it up to wait any longer. Um, he has contacted me. We are going to get together soon. It's just this is how it is right now. But uh, 
Leaving the flag here, leaving the wood here, leaving the wood storage here. I am going to take my buck saw that I made because, oh, and my, my saw case, because I like it. I'll take the blade, let's do that right now. We'll take the blade out of here so that we don't uh, mess up the tent on the ride back to the truck. Have you guys made these buck saws yet? I implore you, it's a fun thing to do. I promise it is. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, it didn't get as much play as I had thought it was going to, but that's okay. We'll try something else. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And uh, I'm happy I was able to come up here with Wolfie and, and, and try that new tent and stuff. So don't forget at Robin Outfitters, 10% off all the Nor Tent stuff. So go check that out. And uh, I think that's until, I don't know, for a little bit longer. It won't be forever though. So if you're interested in it, go snatch it up. There's two different versions of the Nor Tent and lots of the uh, extras, all the inners and all that fun stuff. So you guys have a good day. Have a good new year and stay good. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new type of video. Stein. Get from here, bud. Get from here. Good boy. On that first trip out, I lost half my gear halfway. <laughs> my good boy that's the wolfy dog he's my good boy and he likes to eat freeze dried steak we also oh sorry we also had a spiral ham for uh christmas there and new year's and we re or sorry freeze dried that so in a future episode i will be testing out reconstituted ham as strange as that sounds. I promise it sounds strange to me too. Your steak awaits. Come. Good boy.